Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to show you uh, two sample prints uh, that came out of the Megabox samples. So let's have a look after the intro. The first sample I tried was the tea glaze filament from Tolman 3D. Uh, this filament is, is uh, is a PET T material that is printed at 230 to 245 and I found out uh, that I printed out at 235 for for most of the prints I did. First uh, I printed out a temperature tower uh, and uh, for most temperatures the, the bridging capabilities and stringing was not very good. Uh, but uh, the strength of the print is, is really good and I broke off a piece here but uh, it's very very difficult to, to break it so it's very very good layer adhesion in this filament uh, I then printed this test print and it came out uh, really well in all aspects except the, the bridging uh, it was not very good at, at bridging, but uh, the overhangs came out pretty good, uh, and the, the rest of the print came out uh, pretty good. I then printed out my maker coin, but that was a fail because uh, the filament got tangled in the in the cabinet. Uh, I hadn't put a sample on a proper spool, so. When I was printing it, it got tangled and, and uh, stopped printing at this height here. But uh, previous to that it had this uh, errors. <laughs> but beside that the, the filament is, is looking very nicely. It shines very, very brightly and has a great color to it. Uh, and then printed this model. This is just a, a small cup. I found uh, on Thingiverse and it came out very good uh, and the print is really shiny and as you can see it shines and it's uh, somewhat transparent uh, this filament but uh, I really like the color and the shine of this filament so this is a uh, it looks very well and the print uh, it's very clean and, and came out really, really good. The uh, second filament I tried uh, from this sample is uh, PET G Pro from Atomic Filament. Uh, this filament is, is uh, a PET G uh, filament that prints 230 degrees uh, to 245 degrees uh, and a heated bed on 60 to 75 degrees. Uh, this filament is, is uh, pretty easy to, to print with and uh, it, it gave me uh, only one small problem but uh, that was some stringing but other than that it came out really well. I did a very small temperature test and the bridging came out really well on this. And and this is a very very clean print. Uh, I did cancel the print at, at here uh, because I noticed when I was printing this tower was going from 240 to 200 degrees and uh, well below the recommended temperature. So I, I did cancel the, the tower. Uh, but here at this one it was 235 and came out really well. So I decided to stick with this temperature. Uh, then I printed out this model and it for most part came out really well. There is a small amount of stringing though, and, uh, but the overhangs uh, came out pretty well. The only problem I noticed was on the back of the dome, there was some clutter. Uh, I don't know what caused this, like uh, there was some uh, extra filament. Uh, building up beside the print but I'm not sure what caused this 
Uh, then I printed the toilet pot, uh, and it came out for most part really well also. It, it has a little bit of stringing, uh, but not very, not very bad. And uh, there were some uh, overhangs that that need to be cleaned up in this print, but for most part it came out uh, really well, and it has very good uh, like. Uh, shine to the filament so it uh, shines really well and has some deep blue color so I'm, I'm really fond of this filament I then printed out the maker coin and here I ran out of filament so I didn't have the option to finish the, the maker coin but uh, the shine on the filament is really good and the color is really good so, uh, so I really like this filament. The, the only problem I had with the with the pet G filament was this uh, on the back side of the dome. I don't know what uh, caused that, but other than that, it worked really well for me. So this will be this video on the pet G Pro from Atomic Filament and the T Glaze from Tolman 3D. Both of those filament. Uh, uh, worked quite good for me and uh, I was trying to get uh, trying to order the atomic filament but they don't ship to Iceland and I didn't find any resellers uh, that ship to Iceland with this filament uh, but the Tolman 3D I can get uh, so uh, at least for now the atomic filament is unavailable for me but I might uh, order some Tolman 3D uh, filament at some point because I really like the, the surface finish of this filament and, and I look forward to do some more uh, printing with this filament if I make an order. So for now I thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.